Hello and welcome to Auten Math. In this edition of Auten Math, we're going to talk about complementary and supplementary angles, their defin definition, and then we're going to move on to practice problems involving complementary and supplementary angles. All right, what are complementary and supplementary angles? Well, very simply, complementary angles are angles whose sum is 90 degrees. Each of the two angles is called the complement of the other. So in this diagram, I have got two angles, both of which are 45 degrees. And I know that 45 degrees plus 45 degrees is equal to 90. So I can say that these are complementary angles. Now the angles don't have to be congruent in order to be complementary. I can have an angle whose measure is 89 degrees and an angle whose measure is 1 degree. Those two angles are complementary angles. Supplementary angles are angles whose sum is 180 degrees. They're going to form a straight angle. Each of these two angles is called the supplement to the other. So in this case, I have one angle measured at 60 degrees, one that's 120. Uh, they form a straight angle and <clears throat> together, and the sum is 180 degrees. Now, the angles don't have to be adjacent angles, which means that they don't have to share a common ray in order to be complementary or supplementary. But if you add them together or put them next to each other, they'll create either a straight angle in the case of supplementary angles or a right angle in the case of complementary angles. So let's take on a problem that involves complementary and supplementary angles. But let's talk first about how to solve word problems using complementary and supplementary angles. So the tips in solving these word problems. First, you need to identify the angle in question as x. So that's your variable. Then when you hear the complement of an angle, that's going to be equal to 90 minus the angle, or 90 minus x. The supplement of the angle is going to be equal to 180 minus x. And then is generally means equals to, so you're going to use the equal sign. Let's move on to a pretty tough problem involving uh, complements and supplements. OK, so the supplement of an angle, there's a lot of writing here. Let's go through the problem. The supplement of an angle is 60 degrees less than twice the supplement of the complement of the angle. Find the measure of the complement. So it helps now to break this down based on the original definitions that I gave to you uh, in order to solve these word problems. So we say the supplement of an angle, 180 minus x. So the supplement of an angle, here is my supplement of the angle, is equals 60 degrees less than twice the supplement of the complement of the angle. So now when we write the supplement of the complement, I'm writing this is the complement and this is the supplement. So the supplement of the complement of the angle uh, times 2 and taken 60 from is equal to the supplement. OK, so now that we have the problem worked out, the supplement of an angle is equal to 2 times uh, the supplement of the complement of the angle less 60 degrees. We can figure out what x is. So now we're trying to find the complement, by the way. So I have 180 minus x is equal to 2 times, I have 180 minus 90, which is 90, and then 180 minus a minus x, which is plus x. So I have 2 times 90 plus x minus 60. I simplify that further. I get 180 minus x is equal to 180 plus 2x minus 60. Negative 3x is equal to negative 60. And x is equal to 20. So remember not to stop at this point. We've just found the measure of the angle. The question is asking us to find the measure of the complement to the angle. So I know that the complement to the angle is going to uh, mean that that complement plus the original angle will equal 90 degrees. So if the original angle is 20, then the complement must be 90 minus 20, or 70 degrees. Uh, 